there are days when you wake up and you feel so horrible that the only thing that will make you feel better is more alcohol. And that's when you're in the death spin. She's covered some of the biggest stories of our time. I'm Elizabeth Vargas in Baghdad. But off camera, Elizabeth Vargas had a kind of double life. The mother of two suffered from crippling anxiety and alcoholism. I mean, I remember anchoring the evening news. And if you watch carefully at the beginning of every newscast, you will see me lean in and I grip the desk with my right hand. Good evening from Los Angeles. And on my left hand, which I'm holding my pen, I'm taking my engagement ring and I'm digging the edge into my thumb. Elizabeth, who says she's been sober now for two years, opens up about it all in her new memoir, Between Breaths. She's also sitting down with Diane Sawyer for tomorrow night's 2020. We all do everything we can today that tomorrow we won't pick up a drink, but we really only have today. Elizabeth suffered blackouts and went to rehab four times, but she says it was a moment during a vacation with her son that still haunts her. I was drinking and sleeping and I do vividly remember like one afternoon Sam standing by that my head in the bed saying, Mommy, when are you going to get up? And I remember I could smell the sunscreen and I could feel the heat from his little body because he'd just come in from the beach. And you know, I would die for my children, Diane, but I couldn't stop drinking for my children. I don't know if I will ever forgive myself for hurting them with my drinking, ever. 